There are many organic compounds whose triple point is in the range of 0 to 200 degrees Celsius. And NPL has selected several for purification and sealing in triple point cells. As an example, ethylene carbonate has a triple point at 36.324 degrees Celsius, convenient near body temperature and therefore of great value in checking medical thermometers of all kinds. To set up the triple point, the cell is first immersed in very hot water to melt the contents. It is then placed on the bench to cool. Crystallization does not occur spontaneously, even though the substance is some 15 degrees below its freezing point. It is necessary to stimulate freezing by giving the cell a sharp shake. Once started, crystallization spreads throughout the cell, producing a mush of solid crystals and liquid, liberating enough latent heat to warm the contents to the triple point. Then the process stops, and further solidification occurs only as fast as is necessary to make up the heat lost to the surroundings. In effect, the ethylene carbonate acts as a temperature regulator at the triple point, at least until the whole charge is solidified. This can be delayed for several hours by inserting the cell in a thermos flask lined with cotton wool. In the meantime, a large number of thermometers and indicators can be tested. I began thinking, could they produce a similar triple cell at 120 degrees C. I was informed they already had such thoughts themselves and it was proposed that there should be a joint venture between Boots and the NPL to develop a benzoic acid triple point cell. A physicist from Boots under contract to the Metrology and Standards Requirements Board spent six weeks working at NPL. The results were profitable for both sides. The cell is heated inside an oven until the contents melt. The oven is then allowed to cool. Once the triple point is reached, the cell is ready for use. The triple point condition can be maintained for well over a working day if it's kept in a temperature controlled oil bath or furnace, making it possible to calibrate dozens of thermocouples. Accuracies and reproducibilities of 0.01 degrees Celsius can be achieved easily in the laboratory. In service, Boots report that the cells have provided an invaluable reference temperature for checking their local standards, giving a fixed reference point close to the working temperature. What's more, the thermocouples used to check sterilization temperatures can now be tested in a device directly certified by NPL. As a result, the drips and other solutions which pass through these autoclaves by the thousand are better controlled and patients better protected than ever before.